Good day, everybody. I hope you're having a great Tuesday so far. Oliver. Yo. <laughs> uh, today is going to be an extremely strange day for me. Um, we're going to be diving into something new. Stuart, hello. Stuart, I'm glad you're here. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna need help today. I'm gonna need massive amounts of help. Um, I'm not opening bridge or InDesign. Uh, I'm doing something else, but we'll be getting into that. Oh, I'm, I'm nervous for today. I got to tell you, Doris, hello. Um, let's go ahead and start with some introductions here. Get on the right screen. Caroline, hello. Okay, there we go. Hitting the button. Come on, there, all right. <clears throat> Sandrine, hello. It's wonderful to see you all. I'm gonna need your support today, that's for sure. But for those of you that are new here, if anybody is, hello everybody, my name is Sean Kozel. I'm a photographer. I am based in Germany. Um, as you can see up here, I'm also part of the Community Expert Program and Adobe Express Ambassador. Um, if you're watching this on Behance, you can click on my icon that's all the way up there. It will take you to my homepage on Behance, and uh, you can check out some of my past streams right there. If you are watching this on Twitch or YouTube, you will see a link. I do this every time. You'll see a link within my uh, description for my link tree. You can click on that right there. And you can join us over on Behance by just scrolling down a little bit and seeing the link to the Behance right there. The Behance. That's wrong on so many levels. Stephen Booth, hello. Um, you can join the chat on Behance, but you can also stay on YouTube or Twitch. Say hello. Getting back on over into Behance. Um, you can check out my past live streams right there. Checking out any of my work. Um, and also the community's work here is the community challenge for the creative circus. Also, I've got all, all the links to every place else. Uh, importantly, you can join my discord right there and, um, let's just get into it. Speaking of discord, jumping over into the discord. First off, if anybody is new, let me switch sides here. If anybody is new to my Discord, uh, a couple important feeds that I've got for you. We have the announcement feed right there where anything that comes up from Adobe, I will put in announcements. Um, I will put in when I'm going live streaming. If you have photos to edit and Vikram spammed me some photos. So actually, thank you for that. I got one from Lydia, so that's cool. Lydia's not here yet, but thank you, Lydia. And then a ton from Vikram. And I don't know why, but he, he likes to see how I would edit his photos. Or he likes the fact that I look at him and go, this is a good photo. <laughs> that may be it. Just getting a little bit of praise. But I'm okay with that. If you've got other artwork that you would like to share with me, we've got community artwork right there. And right underneath that is project feedback. So if you have any project, Behance projects or anything like that, you can just put it in there. Also, if you have a shop link, make sure to put your shop link in and share it with the community and make sure for the community. We've got Kirsty and Bruce and Steven. Speaking of Steven, we've got Lee and um, uh, Flurry and uh, Jeff and myself. And many, many others. There's a few from Sandrine. There's Caroline. Speaking of Caroline in chat right there. Bam. So make sure to check those out. And Evie. Uh, Sandrine. <laughs> I can't even do it. Do it with a straight face. Sandrine says, buy my stuff. We all say, buy my stuff. We all do. <laughs> Also, if you are part of the Firefly community, you can post your Firefly work um, or generations right there. And we've got a ton. And so <laughs> Oliver, no self-promotion. That's funny. 
Uh, let's just go through some of these. We're not gonna go through them all because there's a ton, but I'm really happy to see that everybody is having so much fun with this. Um, I definitely wanna start with Caroline. Oh no, I wanna start with Steven. Or uh, Gareth, excuse me. Uh, doo -doo. Rhetorical question. Is there a way to watch your streams on replay or YouTube or Twitch? Since I'm not on Twitch. Um, yes, the answer is. So, <clears throat> that's a great question, Sandrine. So, if anybody misses part of the stream today or has to leave and you want to watch the replay, but you don't want to wait for the Behance upload, which takes a couple hours, you can ac actually jump on my page and scroll down and you will see a link right there to YouTube. And let's do it. Um, you can see me right here, concept art. There I am live. And I've never done this before. I've never jumped onto Twitch. There I am live. Um, but I don't know how to find me other than that. So, ooh, wow, that got, that got weird. Twitch VODs allegedly remain available for 14 days, but I'm pretty sure I've seen them up for longer. Mine are about seven, I think they're seven days, Oliver, because I only have two streams usually up at a time and I stream twice a day. Barbara, hello, morning from middle America. That would be Kansas, but Barbara's not in Kansas. I know that because she usually says good morning from Music City. And that it would not be Kansas. <laughs> so yeah, you can immediately, as soon as my streams are done, those are gonna be um, um, up <laughs> uploaded. Uh, what did Steve, I saw the Steven said, buy my stuff or the bunny gets it. Whoa, we went dark, fast, fast. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, apparently if you're a partner or turbo or prime user, they stay up for 60 days. Yeah, I, I am not. I am not. My, my community is here on Behance and Twitch and YouTube, kind of just a little sprinkle little sprinkle of people over there um that's about it so <clears throat> let's get back into the discord and as a reminder before we dive into it i'm gonna jump over into the um firefly discord and up here at the top under events in approximately four hours I will be hosting the prompt jockey. So if you're part of that discord and you want me to make your prompts, feel free to jump in, say hi, and I will actually make your prompts. Gareth, hello. Mafu, hello. No, you're not late, Mafu. You're not late at all. Let's jump back over. Okay, uh, Gareth, speaking of Gareth, how did I lose? I lost everybody. Okay. Speaking of Gareth, this was an absolutely amazing tip and I gave it away um, on the prompt jockey yesterday. Cab oh, I'm going to mess this up and I apologize. Cabo Cabilo or Cablo? Hello. Welcome in. Good to see you. Um, Gareth says, I can see me using emoji in text effects to generate ideas for new characters to draw who would have thought using an emoji and Darth Vader as a prompt would give you this result um so cool so cool uh these actually turned out really good and so I showed this off yesterday because I was really impressed with the fact of you know taking a rabbit emoji I'm thinking this is the rabbit emoji. Could be the kitty. I think it may be the kitty emoji. But using one of the cat emojis, you can see the ears up here and getting this type of an effect. So that's that's really cool. Um we could teddy bear. Oh, teddy bear. Okay, I got I see it. 
We should do a challenge <laughs> where you do the emoji and then you fill it with a text effect and you have to guess what the emoji is. <gasps> okay, we're moving on. But that is a cool effect. Thank you for sharing that, Gareth. Uh, very happy with that one. That would make nice avatars for a game. Ooh, that... That is, that's a good idea. Ooh, make sure you open your sippy cup before you try to take a drink. Also, really quick, I apologize. I am not in streamer mode. Let me jump into streamer, streamer mode. I don't want to get um, all messed up. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> you never know what's going to happen from those people on the Firefly Discord. All right, Caroline, I am so happy that you shared this. Caroline says, hi all, so I got into Firefly a few days ago and must admit I made some pretty awful looking images. But then I started to think how I would actually like to use them in my workflow. So I decided to see how it would handle some abstract art and give me some inspiration for real life painting. Here are some of the results I liked. Um, for, for what I think, Caroline, this is exactly what Firefly is for. Um, I, I, I love the idea. You laid it out there. Everything about it is wonderful. So, okay. Let's see here. Let's take a look at some of these. Um, I was actually pretty impressed with this. The use of the lighting that we've got going on. Um, the texture. And let's open this up in browser. So the prompt that Caroline used was minimal abstract art with a circle and a triangle in blue and gold. I like that. I like that. And that's another pro tip. If anybody is new here to Firefly, within the file is the prompt, the file name. So uh, thanks, but I, but I feel like didn't do anything. No, 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 Caroline. That is not a big deal. Lady Jane, A up. I missed you today, Lady Jane. I thought you were going to stream. Um, I would see your take on it on the wall. Yeah, this is exactly what you said. The fact that you're using how you would make your artwork, and we've seen your artwork, um, putting those prompts in to make illustration. So that's, that's, I think, exactly what Firefly is for. Like this, I completely see this. Ooh, I hope you feel better, Jane, quickly. We can get you back up on the air. Um, unless it's a really long prompt that's too long for file names, yes. But this is completely up, you know, right up your alley, Caroline. I could see you making something like this. Um... Yeah, digging it. Like, this is just, this is great. So the idea, and you know, we are generating stuff. We're not making it. We, this is not our artwork. This is still owned by Adobe. You know, we're generating inspiration. That's, that may be a good way to think about it. We are generating inspiration. That's, I like that. Uh, I am trying to tread lightly on how I talk about Firefly due to the fact that I'm a mod, I do the prompt jockeys, but nowhere do I feel that this is your work. Your, like this, this is photorealism. This isn't your photo. This is a generated image of two dogs looking out a window. And this is from lower third or L low I prefer to be called L but it's it's good concepts like this it's a new prompt that I have not seen anybody do um oh no prompt no prompt L hello 
Elle's ears were burning. That's why they came in. Vikram bringing in some amazing skies. Ooh! I, okay, okay. Was it... I was using sky replacement last week. Now, this is interesting. If you are making composites and coming up with funky skies, I wonder if you could take some of these in to Photoshop and upload them and use them as sky replacements. Um, I don't see why not. But that's something I've never, I never thought about before. Mm, 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 mm. Hey. Like, I like that one. Interesting. Okay. Moving on, moving on. Ah, oh, that did a good job. Sir Can, hello. You still have to leave the watermark on somehow until out of beta. You are correct, Jane. Um, you know what? We have to do it. Well, okay. I'm going to switch screens really quick. Uh, I did not have Photoshop open, so let me open up Photoshop really quick. And that is an absolutely great statement by Jane. So we are going to talk about that really quick while Photoshop gets up and running. It is scheduled to be full version, not beta soon. Sandrine, um, we have not been told. The only thing that I can say is I have... No, I can't even say that. Um, let me put it this way. Let's switch over here. I gotta see what images that I've got ready to go. Let's go jump into stock. No, um, Sandrine, what I was thinking about was when it comes out of beta, it's going to be integrated into, um, it's going to be integrated into, Firefly is gonna be integrated into Photoshop, Lightroom, among other apps. So for the idea for it to come out of beta fully we never know but i think some options are going to be in integrated within the adobe apps uh beforehand so let's just go free go landscape and on that point on that point of their listening yes they are i am gonna tell you right now yes they are and this one is fine that, that is fine and dandy right there. We're going to license that one for free. And let's dump this into my library. Do that. Um, I don't know if I can actually tell this story, but um, somebody in a stream talked about integration with Adobe Express which makes sense. I don't know if it was an insider info or just a guess. No, now Adobe has made it public that the integration into, into Adobe Express, Photoshop, and also Illustrator and some other apps, that is public. So um, I don't think that's, that's a big deal. All right, let's jump into Photoshop, jump up into here, open up libraries. Is that the Facebook interface team? I don't know what that, what did I miss? A lot of chat going on. Um, guess I didn't, oh, I'm in the wrong, wrong library, Sean, come on. Also, how would Firefly be used with Adobe apps? Um, Mafu, it is just like how right now within Photoshop, you have the neural filters um, and you have other, other techniques that are coming into effect, um, other tools, like you may not even know that 
something was part of Firefly, but it's an AI generated, um, an AI generated tool. So, okay. I think on next Adobe Max will be full available, my opinion. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what am I doing? We need to, we need to get one of Vikram Skies. So let's get back into here. We are going to download this one. Yep, that one. So let's go ahead. We're going to save image as. Let's throw this on the desktop for right now. We're going to hit save. That's, you know, Mafu, I believe, and I don't know for this for sure, but I believe um, Sensei is Firefly. Uh, ch -ch Apparently, you recall correctly, we are developing a con uh, compensation model for stock contributors and we'll share the details. Okay. All right, moving on. So we've got our downloaded stock photo from Adobe Stock. You can see right here, it's Mount Rainier in Washington. Washington, not Washington State, Washington, the state of Washington. We're going to go image and let's come on down here to sky replacement. And first thing we want to do is we're going to come down here to the plus button and import sky images. So let's go to my desktop. There's our sky. We're going to hit OK going to click on that one let's move this over and it did a pretty darn good job um we need to really warm up some of the foreground so coming down here to the foreground let's see let's come we're gonna warm that up quite a bit like so and uh, <laughs> I was going to take the sky replacement, the, the new sky, and put it down here. I mean, we can, but this isn't the purpose of today's stream. And to be honest, all I'm doing is wasting time because I don't know what I want to do. Okay. <clears throat> I think it's highly likely that the AI that is Adobe Sensei is what powers the generating in Firefly. Firefly is just a step further than filters. I... The thing is, Jane, I just haven't heard anybody specifically say. I believe it is. Uh, I did a search for a humpback whale yesterday, and the first image that came up was was AI, and it looked wrong. It has a tough time with whales. Somebody got whales working really good. Um, yeah. So does this mean Firefly is out of beta? Wouldn't it mean? Wouldn't that mean it? Or Sensei would be rebranded? Firefly is the web-based app. That's it. Oh, don't ask chat GPT. It lies. It lies. <laughs> the internet is full of lies. But I got to tell you, that is pretty cool. Um, let's, let's... Taking a stock image. Adding an image just like that from from uh, Firefly, it works. I mean, it doesn't look realistic by any means, but um, because the image doesn't look real. But that's pretty cool. I have not tried that yet. All right, let's go ahead. I think I'm done. Not gonna save it. Let's jump back on over into the Firefly. Uh, Vikram still doing some rainbow paper cut, it looks like. I love it. Chat is going crazy. Really good conversations. Um, I would like to be able to search Adobe Stock and not get AI images. What? Um, sorry, everybody, if you can hear a an alarm going off in the background. Um, one moment.
Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, hi, Jack. How are you? Lydia, hello. Okay, what did I miss in chat? Um, mm, sorry, I'm thrown off now. Uh, let me get back to things. Um, okay, searching Adobe stock. Let's go hump back whale. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm over here in the filters. Let me switch sides again. Okay, getting back into it. <laughs> really? Lydia says just watching YouTube and saw Sean's stream video is on my suggested list. Cool, Bruce. I did not even see you there. I apologize. Uh, chiming in over here on YouTube. Good morning, Sean, and hello to the creative crew. Hope everyone is well. Doing well, Bruce. Thank you for stopping in. And you know who to let me know if is watching in the background. Um, this is interesting. I have not looked for this, Caroline. But if we can actually look. No. It would be... This is interesting. So you've got like local artists, undiscovered content, which means just what it is, but it doesn't have the ability. Okay, thank you, Bruce. It doesn't have the ability to be able to do that. Uh, I'm some, sure someone posted that is there. Okay. Um, Sandrine would... For those of you that do not know, Sandrine or Jane, for that matter, are both um, are both. Uh, I'm sorry, just you threw me off there, Jane. I'm trying humpback whale and not getting overly obvious AI results. Well, I'm not personally. I'm not seeing any AI results that are kind of throwing me off. Uh, but either Jane or Sandrine, uh, if you could put in a request for that, being able to turn off AI generated artwork in the filter, that would be great. Uh, because when you submit work to Adobe Stock, you have to say that it's AI generated. So if you click on this, not only do you have to say that you it is AI generated. It has to say in the title that it's AI generated. So I believe it's two or three different places where you have to say that it is an AI generated artwork. Um, well, this is I've never seen a. Oof! Wow. OK. We'll just see if we can see anything on this first page. Is that just an illustration? Yep. And nothing's jumping out at me. So, but Caroline, that's actually a really good point to be able to do that. So, good idea. Uh, okay. Let's get back. Now we have Caroline working on new planets. That's pretty cool. Elle says, I'm pretty sure because I have two AI images in Adobe Stock and it says it clearly. Yes, I remember when Adobe Stock actually first came out with accepting any AI generated artwork, um, that those were the two those were the two mandatory things that you had to do for it to be accepted. Oliver says, I didn't think Gen AI stuff was allowed on Adobe Stock yet. They allowed it, oh, it must have been three months ago, I is my guess. It's It's been a few months that they've actually set up an AI-generated um, feature. So... We have a ton here going on. So. Is 
This is scary, colorful, fun, yet a bit scary. <laughs> uh, thank you, El. El says, you're right, Sean. Thank you for that. Uh, but we've got a ton of fire Firefly work, so that is great. Uh, thank you, everybody, who has been posting it here on the Discord. Keep it coming. Keep it... Uh, yeah. Caroline, I wasn't going to say that. Uh, here's the spiel about AI. Okay, let me come over here. Let me bring that up, Jane. Jane, how come you're not a mod? Why are you not a mod? You should be. Go ahead and refresh uh, the stream, Jane, if you will. And your badge will suddenly appear. Oh, did you cut off part of it? Oh, Oliver, thank you for that. Oliver made it clickable. Okay, want your content made use, using generative AI tools to be accepted into Adobe stock. Find out how to submit authentic assets, assets that meet our quality, legal, and technical standards. <laughs> Jane, you're doing the best you can. That's all we like. That's all we ask for. Okay. There we go. So when you are submitting, when is this from? Oh, geez. Okay. June 18th. So five months. All right. So when you're putting in, you've got illustrations and then you've got create using Gen I work. And you have to label it, title it and tag it as generative AI illustrations. So those are the rules for Adobe stock. Um, since Firefly has come out, I don't know if there's any other uh, anything else. Um, whoa, whoa, Sandrine, inside voice. Maybe it's not available for the free section, though. <laughs> well, I knew it was the cap locks because the first letter was lowercase and the rest were all upper. Um, I don't know. I think I've seen some, um, let's, let's. Okay. So as of right now, I'm under free and let's go, uh, AI generated. Hit illustrations. Maybe AI generated illustrations. Let's try that. Okay, uh, well, I think we've got AI in the word, in the, in the title. Uh, yeah. Okay, we are moving on from that. Uh, who's got Lydia added more. We've got Oh, it's for the circus team. I can see the AI options on stock, Sean. Maybe it's only there on the main stock site. Posted a screenshot. Okay. Oh, 
Ooh, interesting. How did I not have that? Exclude generative AI. Okay. Yeah, let's get back. Now, now I'm curious. Let's switch this to all. Go back in. Humpback. Coming into our filters. There it is. Okay. There you are. So, it is not under any of the free. So, for those of you that don't know, what happens with the free is Adobe Stock will contact the artist and they will say that your two, three, four images or these selected Im images have been uh, selected to be part of our free collection and they will pay you. Now, this was a couple months ago, a few months ago, so it may have changed. I don't know, but I'm, I won't give a price. They pay you a flat rate for one year use of the image. Now, that may be why the generative is not included in the free, because there's so much of it. Um, there's so much, but that's, there you go. Frank, hello. I have an AI filter on free and all. Oh my God. Are you serious? Frank coming in, dropping knowledge. See, I don't. I do not have an AI. I, I wonder... Suddenly it's there. I still don't have it. People. Maybe it is a European thing. Franck is in Canada. North America. So, <clears throat> I don't know. Because if I switch this back to all, there it is. So, hmm, they don't like us Europeans. <sighs> Interesting. Okay, thank you for her. Uh, oh, Sandrine sent it and Gareth sent it. San. <sighs> Andreen's got it on the free. So it's not a European thing. It's a Sean thing. Sean and Jane thing. Adobe just doesn't like Sean and Jane. <clears throat> Jeez. Okay. We're moving on. <sighs> Back into my announcements. For anybody that would know, Vikram, hello. We've been checking out your work or your generative work. Generative AI. Um... Check it out. Adobe Max is starting out and it's starting in London, back in London. So where are we right here? Let me put this into chat really quick. This has been made public just recently. And so I want to make sure to share it with all of you. But on June 13th um, in London, there is an Adobe Max meetup. So it's going to be held at the Beams. And I am going to be there. I, I have registered um, and I actually may even be there as an Adobe Adobe ex, Adobe Community Expert Ambassador. Oh, my gosh. These titles are just getting longer and longer. I tell you. Um, but you can register here. Vikram, that's a good question. You should ask him. So I wanted to make sure I put that out to you because I know we've got a bunch of people from the UK within chat. Okay, I think I've been putting this off long enough. Uh, today, 
I'm going to be trying something absolutely new, different, and I've got no idea how or what I'm doing. Um, ah, thank you, Bruce. Everybody, um, you know, I'm not an illustrator. I, I, I don't illustrate. But the con paint shop pro, the, the concept that I have come up with, and let's jump over into Illustrator. Actually, excuse me, we're going to jump up into Adobe Express. Um, now you have a long political resume. I'm telling you, I, I do have a very long um, Adobe resume. So we are in Adobe Express and to give you a background and the reason that this is something that I'm working on um, is going to sound crazy. It's going to sound absolutely crazy and I don't know what to do with it. So four decades, I have um, had dreams of falling, falling off of cliffs. Uh, and and it's to the point now that falling off of cliffs in my dreams are like eh, here we go again and it's just it has gotten to be the same thing over and over again driving a car off a cliff driving and having it slide off a cliff all of this stuff your intro will last hours soon probably it will um, base jumper, Sean. Yeah. Well, no, the funniest thing, it's always like super slow motion. Like I know it's going to happen. Um, at least, at least you were not given the title, that guy in charge of stuff. <laughs> uh, Lungani, I would love that title. I would love that title. I'm in charge of nothing. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. I I need a screenshot of this. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, get, quit moving, quit moving. <clears throat> Chat, quit moving for a second. Oh, okay. I need a screenshot of that one. That's a keeper. That is going to be a streamer definition or something. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> I do not know if it is Adobe Firefly, um, because Gareth has talked about this also. Uh, dreams of falling normally means there's something happening in your life that you don't like and feel it is out of your control. But for decades, Oliver, decades, I mean, this is forever. So, um, recently... And, oh, back to Gareth. Gareth was mentioning in Firefly how it has opened up a, a it's been an inspiration to his, his imagination, the idea that you can create anything. And so recently I had a dream and uh, fell off a cliff, woke up and I was angry. And I'm like, this is dumb. And, you know, this has been happening to me, happening to me forever. So, what, what do we need to do? What do I need to do? And so I sat there and I thought for a couple minutes, I went back to sleep and boom, I was able to catch myself. So the most interesting that occurred is I woke up the next morning and I started making some sketches, started coming up with ideas. Now to begin with, I am 100% aware that um, this is kind of a ripoff from um, Green Lantern. Did you throw that in a Firefly prompt? I did, and it I almost exploded it. <laughs> it. It was horrible. It was horrible. Okay, so the first thing I did the next month, next morning, early in the morning, I got up and started doing just some squit, quick sketches 
And the concept that I came up with, very simple, is the fact of, now, this is concept drawing. So it's not the idea that it's realistic, that it can happen. It's just the concept of it. And so I started getting this all down and sketching it out and stuff. So the idea, using the Green Lantern type, it took me a couple days to figure it out. But um, the most simplest thing would be, I or, or I should say I started thinking about um, horseback riders in in when they're doing the steeple chase not steeple chasing but with the cross country uh, uh, jumping and all of that and with horse racing in the Olympics is they have these vests that when you get thrown from your saddle they they expand they get big and so when you fall it doesn't you're not breaking your ribs or anything like that and Bruce says good for you Sean sketching in your book I know um so uh that's the first concept then i took it a step further i'm like okay we need to think about this we need to take this into a direction that could do something so why not end up having some type of layers lasers that are able to create a platform being able the future with light using lasers and light with the ability to actually generate something and have it um have you seen the wearable airbags? Yes, I have. But the thing is, I'm falling off a cliff. So an airbag's not going to help you. So the concept, the, the concept to begin with is you are wearing a device, a type of camera with a sensor in it. And when the sensor starts moving at a very quick speed at an angle in which you would be falling, what would occur is it would generate a platform a platform that would end up catching you how long have you been thinking this Vikram just wait just wait I'm gonna go through this whole process before because I I don't even know an accelerometer and a gyro 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 would do that yes Gareth you are absolutely correct and another screenshot um safety wearables yes i love that oh my okay i'm taking we need these are concepts that i want to add into this project so the cons the idea you could have it on your front or your back you've and once it is deployed what occurs is it creates a platform using lasers using lights and once the impact of something hitting it then the sides would actually like pop up so you're not going to be able to fall off something of that nature right there now that was the beginning they could be used for skiers climbers hikers so if you are a climber let's say you're on a cliff you don't need one on the front you need one on your back but if you're a skier you may need one on the front and the back so you've got the the capability that you're able to to actually put one in front of you and behind. And so that's the first concept. The each device, each camera, each sensor is actually uh, set up for your weight and height. So it knows at what point in time it's supposed to be deployed. So we've got the person and I know this is Iron Man ish, you know, it doesn't that's I'm telling you, this was early in the morning. I'm sketching this. So we've got the person six foot tall and it deploys down below. And. But no, 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 we. You're killing me, Oliver. You need one of those giant inflatable hamster balls to deploy around you. I need one of those just all the time. But this is this is where it gets in interesting. Forget all of this. Now, look at this. For cars because that's part of my dreams. My dreams is the fact that I'm driving and I fall off these cliffs in, in cars. So why not have the same style of device that is set up underneath each wheel that is as it is going off a surface, it can actually deploy and catch this one surface or this one wheel. Um, why not? Then it, I'm thinking like, okay, take it a step further. You know, you can have it deployed, it can catch it, but then you've got tank mode. It's a slow movement, 
but it can be deployed in front of all four tires going over rough or impassable areas. I'm like, oh my God, just invite a flying car, simple. No, you're not, you, you, but I'd still be falling off of cliffs, Oliver. This is the whole point is the idea is when I'm, I'm hiking, I'm walk, walking, bicycling in a car, boom. Ah, that's called a Mars Rover, that one. Not in a flying car, you wouldn't. But I wouldn't always be in a flying car, Oliver. But I tell you what, ever since I came up with this concept, I have not dreamed of falling off a cliff. So, this has actually worked. All right, I have no idea what I wanna do with this. I don't know what I'm going to be. Create a system that stops your drive from driving off things. But okay, the, it, the, what occurs though, is it's not so much of driving off, it's like taking a corner and then having a back wheel like just slide out and start pulling you over. Um, I usually dream of falling of when I'm too close to the edge of the bed. I agree, Jane. <clears throat> so, so it's not the idea like I've never actually had a dream where, where I just drive off a cliff. No, no. Hi, Umicorn. The concepts are always I'm pulled slightly, like it's 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 I lose traction, I slide off, something like that. Is it usually the same? Absolutely not, Caroline. Absolutely not. Not the same. Um, oh, Umicorn. I don't think I can go over it again. <laughs> uh, Auto drive off things, usually autonomous cars, the future people. Wow. Okay. So to begin with, now who knows? I may I may just get to the point that oh, all right, this is this is a dumb stream and we'll end it. Alessandra, hello. I don't know. I don't know. So first thing I did is I've created a um a library. I've got my library set up right there. Uh, next off, I know the basic concepts that we want to deal with is uh, the idea. Okay. Bruce says, you know, I rented a, a car not too long ago and it, it didn't allow me past a certain point. So I didn't bump the car behind me while parking. They could do that in this scenario. <clears throat> but... What about me? <laughs> Stuart says, no, this is fun. Product design is fun. But I, uh, Stuart, I'm, I'm actually lost. Like we're going to, we're going to give this a go because I want to, I want a concept for no particular reason, except for my own sanity. <sighs> All right. So first thing I did, jumped into Adobe stock, started pulling up some different uh, things looking at the rescue baskets. Those are dummies. Those are not real people. Just to get an idea of what is what we've got going. Um, the, the concept is going to need to have some type of walls so it's able to stop you from sliding and also not injure you. Um, so we have AI imaging using AI to springboard your idea. I've been trying. We'll, we'll try it. We'll give it a go. I have no problem with that. Uh, jumping back into uh, Adobe Express. Again, uh, just getting ideas of rescue boards that we different styles of rescue boards that we've got going. Uh, of course, what I'm thinking of is going to be made of light. So that's going to be quite interesting. Um, it's, it's almost going to be a, a frame of a sort and then maybe lights as the back. 
Evie, hello, it is wonderful to see you. So these are some of the ideas that I came or that I found on uh, Adobe Express. Uh, we've got shapes, we've got a couple vectors. I don't know if this is, let's go ahead, do this really quick. I saved it as a PDF. Let's jump into Illustrator here, see what we got. Uh, Bruce says, Sean, it was just a thought, but I love your thought process. It would be super cool to see this project. I hope so. Um, Stuart says, I do this for a living. You build up the idea using elements from AI and real world items. Okay, let's jump into our layers. I wanna see what we've got going here. If this is an image. Yes, it is an image. Will you be adopting an agile project management method to bring this into for tuition? No, I don't ask. I don't ask chat GPT. I, I don't do that. I've never used it and I never will. Uh, I lost connection now going train. I noticed Bruce has joined. So did I No, you, I haven't done that yet. L not yet. I haven't been given the okay by Bruce. Bruce needs to kind of give me the thumbs up. Okay. Um, getting back in. We're jumping over into Firefly. All right. Making sure I'm signed in. Never say never. I know. Okay. Okay. First off, I'm going to warn you, um, I've tried this. <laughs> I was, I did not want to go into Firefly today because I'll be going into Firefly later, but <clears throat> all right, let's go with a very standard rescue. Can I spell it? Rescue basket to begin with. Um, wearing a safety harness. No, okay, Stuart, this is, I agree with what you're thinking, but to begin with, before how you wear it, um, no, Frank, I'm not addicted to Firefly. I'm a, I'm a moderator and I do the prompt jockey, uh, streams, so Two times a week, it's Jack. Two times a week, it's me. And Jack and I are talking about doing a type of ping pong stream where it's the both of us. All right, basket is not working here. Let's just try, let's go in landscape, see if anything different comes up. Firefly is the new toy though. So rescue basket isn't working is not working here. So let's go to a rescue stretcher, see what we can get. So this week is your week. Um, all right, let's jump over to the Discord for Frank. So over here on the Firefly Discord, we're gonna click on that. We're gonna scroll up to the top to events right there, clicking on the events, and you're gonna see the prompt jockeys. Now, I did yesterday's and I'm doing today's. So in uh, uh, three and a half hours, I will be on the prompt jockey, hosting the prompts, making your prompts. And then we've got Jack will be doing tomorrow and also Thursday. So that's the schedule for today. Won't there be a live? We are, this is on the Discord, but yes, this isn't, this is not Adobe Live. It's Adobe Firefly Discord. So, <clears throat> all right. Rescue Stretcher. Not what I'm going for. <clears throat> I 
No. <laughs> okay. A rescue cage. Now, did you happen to know, and you know what? Let me... Oh, what happened to my... Okay. Let me bring this up really quick. Because this is something that I did not know. Okay, so I brought up Wikipedia and I searched rescue basket. A rescue basket is actually called a li either lighter or litter. I don't know exactly. Um, that has kind of thrown me off. Uh, Stokes basket that is named after the gentleman that made it. L have a great day. Um, so you've got a Stokes basket, Stokes stretcher, and a Stokes litter or lighter. And so this is the style in which I'm going for. Uh, a lot of that I had I had no idea. So I doubt very much if Adobe Exp or Firefly is going to know that. So let me scroll back up. Stuart had some had some ideas. Um, Rescue cage was one of them. Does not like that I'm short. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let's add airlift rescue basket. emergency stretcher i'm afraid of what it will give me for that ev looks more like shark cages yeah oh geez well i don't think it would take it sandrine it only does english so yeah we are not getting there Ooh, i do not want a gurney I do not want a gurney. Uh, okay. Let's take it again. Stretcher. I have a tendency of stumping, um, Firefly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> This is the closest one that we're getting. And it's not, it's, it's. Okay, we need to get airlift out of here. Um, what did I see? Vintage? Vintage. I'm, I'm trying it. You know, Sensei right now is just hating me. Oh, that's, that's no. <laughs> why am i thinking i'm thinking like oh mental institutions and oh we need to get rid of that uh ransport what is what is that vikram Okay, it doesn't like that language. So this will help with with the car or preventing you from being ejected from the car. <laughs> uh, gurneys are the wheeled ones that go in the ambulance. Yep. The helicopter's starting to get weird. Absolutely. Oh, transport. Forgot a T. Yeah, I, I know the stretcher is the correct word. Now we're getting into vehicles. Um, a flying... 
fine mattress. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Caroline. Fine mattress. Let's go. Maybe I am being too literal with this, Caroline. Oh my gosh. Um... Holy cow. I think... Uh, okay, I'm downloading that one. Um... This is kind of giving me some inspiration here. Uh, I am digging this. Uh, okay. Tangerine says I'm only half joking. All right. Is that a bubble? I think it is a bubble, but I'm looking at the mattress and the idea if... Now, again, concept art, not real. But if you think about the idea that you're taking lasers, beams of light, and if there is a way to actually get them to, to weave amongst themselves to create an actual uh, uh, platform that's something like this, where you've got a top and a bottom that's interesting okay let's get rid of flying because we don't need flying at the moment yeah it's it exactly vikram um think of it as a net <laughs> not to get bites from insects okay we just lost it we lost it all right so at this time very important if you're working on firefly and you want to get back don't use the back button get up here to your operating system back button hit the back button so we're going to grab that one first off we're going to hit show similar and oh by the way i don't know if you guys have seen this this is relatively new to firefly but you've got a favorite button right there so let's say we're gonna make that a favorite we can come down here browser back button yes gareth we can get out of this go all the way back to the home and up here at the top you're gonna see favorites so you can click on your favorites and you can see some of the uh prompts that i did recently that I made my favorites so you've got a favorite list so right here we've got our mattress flying mattress made of light we're gonna hit try prompt and we're gonna it's it's gonna give me something different I know that for sure but that's why I downloaded it close this one's close not right but it's close um okay Hold on. I was looking for my sketchbook. And... Actually, let's do this. Let's go jump into... Illustrator. We are going to make a new layer. And... We need to get some of this down right now. So, um, what happened to my text? There we go.
Okay. Um, we've got the basic concept that we want to deal with here. And let's get some ideas down. Sandrine, have a great day. I am not worried at all about the text that we're using right now. Um, and, ah, uh, you are killing me here. Come on, Illustrator. Um, we had Air Mattress. I, I'm, I'm liking that. And it's with, oh, spell it. Air Mattress made of light. We had uh, lasers woven as a net for the base. And there were some other concepts that I'm missing in chat. So let me let me go up through chat really quick. Um, isolated stretcher. I probably should have tried that one. Inflated platform. I like that one. Okay. You guys had some good concepts. I took a screenshot of a couple, I think. What'd Stuart say? Stuart had... Safety wearables. I do like that. Do you like that? And we're just getting some words down, just getting some ideas. Um, trying to keep the concept. Keep the concept. And Gareth had one. I don't even know how to spell that. <laughs> uh, we, we need to do this a different way here. Put it right there. If I can spell it right. Okay, I'm missing chat right now, so give me a moment, everybody. Got it right in front of me and I still can't spell it right. Okay. And, and just for fun, because I had it, at least you're not given the title that guy in charge of stuff. All right. <clears throat> All right, let me get back into chat, see what I miss, see what I miss. Buoyancy aid. It's not a buoyancy. Protection vest. Ooh, photon mesh. Vikram, I'm digging that one. Photon mesh. I like that. I do like that one. Um protection vest mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't know it's not a buoyancy this is what this is what is so strange is the only thing that I could come up with that I could think about was um platform platform and I couldn't I couldn't get it off out of my brain uh I electric blanket Electric blanket. What? <laughs> Wait, Oliver says, I like how the word you spelled wrong are or or our of those three was and. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Um, oh, 
I like how the okay, out of out of those three were and yeah. Well, I'm trying to type fast, and I'm not I'm I'm not going doing too well. Um, so air mattress made of light, the photon mesh, the lasers. I I love that photon mesh. We need to trademark that. Uh, lasers woven as a net for the base, safety wearables, and we are going to need, and this is going to be for uh, sensors. So, oh. Okay. It's like throwing rubbish at each other in class. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's let's get back into my sketch. So I called it the platform. I've got device makes a flat, solid surface anywhere at any height. The base is deployed and upon the fall and then the sides are generated, which initially I had no, not AI voice generated Siri. Can you imagine that? It's as bad as Siri. You'd say like, um, oh, I'm falling for this guy. And it, it would like, poof. <laughs> okay. Um, then upon impact, the sides would be generated. That's the, actually the correct way I had it. I changed it. Um, it could be worn in the front. Oh, whoa, get back here. Worn in the front or the back as needed, if needed. Um, for the sensors, we've got that. I've got a seven millimeter, 181 degree view lens on the front, which I guess it, the, the concept is it would be, the lens would be used to, um, Uh, okay. <clears throat> I can't, I cannot pass that one up, Gareth. For those of you that aren't on chat, um, you're going to have to wait and see. You're going to have to pay, you're going to have to pay extra for that feature. <clears throat> Special feature, personal bouncy castle. Oh my gosh. Siri, deploy my protection. Now playing, this is the spot, <laughs> this is the protectors on Spotify. <laughs> oh, okay. That's, that's a keeper right there. That's a keeper. Um, having these sensors being able to be worn on your person. Um, I'm thinking almost like having a battery pack here. Having it wouldn't, it would need to have enough room for the gyro. The other sensors would all be pretty small, but then it would need an eye to project for the lasers should be able to have your variety of choice for your protection there's a joke in there bruce that i'm not gonna touch okay <clears throat> We're moving on, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my goodness. We need to make sure uh, that we keep. Um, okay. We've gone in a wrong direction here. Okay, let me look at this. We've gone in the wrong direction, people. Um, and it may be okay. 
I don't know. I don't know. Stream chat. Let me find stream chat. Where are you? This is what Gareth got. Closest I could get. Gareth is the leader. I would say hands down leader when it comes to actually uh, working with Firefly. So if he says this is the best he could get, better than what I could do. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Because this is initially what I was thinking about. Um, all right. We got to take this into a different direction, I think. I'm, I, I'm catching holes because in the entire concept, I want one device to work for both people and also vehicles. I don't think that's going to be possible. Um, first off, you need a surface that is fault is is soft enough that if you are falling and and let's actually jump back into illustrator um the first concept is if you are falling here as the person you're actually going to be falling your head is going to be falling the height so let's say if this person is six foot you are going to be falling and as you fall, it has to know your height. Like the sensor will be okay. I'm thinking this through. Um, the sensor to calibrate calibrate would be to um, my watch alerts my wife when I fall that's that's it I mean that's what we need Gareth that's exactly that's it so the technology is there the sensors are there it's the layers but the calibration would be um, the location of I to ground, you would have to calibrate that. It would also included in that would be the height of person and would it matter if you fall back or forward? Location of device on person and you'd have to have a weight. Okay. <clears throat> so that would be that would be the, your calibration. Um, do you think that that matters, Vikram? Vikram saying temperature. Uh, that might, that might be for battery life. Calibrate other objects around. Well, you know what? Okay. That is actually a really good point. Both Vikram, Vikram is saying posture, and Evie is saying calibrate other objects around. It needs to actually be a constant sensor because think about it this way. If you're climbing and and um see something here if you're if you're rock climbing let's say and and you're kind of in a funky position as as you are um you don't want it to deploy so it has to be speed like how 
fast you're falling, but it has to be able to know, at, you know, where you are. So it's going to have to have a sensor that reads um, the environment, like it has to know what's happening there. So sensor reading surroundings well the ex accelerometer and the gyro would do the sudden movement um will it help read what surface you're on I completely spelled surroundings wrong. How the heck did I spell surroundings that far off? Um, well, you wouldn't wear it if you're dancing, Evie. <laughs> Let's stick with environment. Um, like the bottom is a sea or a rocky floor. The surroundings are sour. Thank you, Umicorn. Um, yeah, this is if. Uh, what if you're dancing on the ledge halfway up a cliff? Then if you fall, I blame yourself. No, 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 Evie. This is not. This is not something that would be able to protect you or to catch you before you hit the ground. Um, <laughs> sorry, Oliver. This, that's, so if you're standing and you just fall, this is not what this is for. Um, this actually needs to have like, okay, let me, where is it? Where is it? Get back here. So the concept, like if this is a car, which it kind of looks like a car a little bit, um, if you've got a car, you need to have a little bit of space for it to project below. So either with, with the idea that we were doing before talking about the tank mode, it would be projected in front of the vehicle, in front of the... Um, <sighs> Everyone... Uh, Oliver is singing Night Fever. Evie is falling off her chair. Oh, when you're having a dancing fall, sounds like you're enjoying the fall. Uh, oh my goodness. You know, none of you are taking this very serious. I'm, I'm. Just remember, if I I could become a millionaire from this, and you can say I was in that stream. Rick, hello. I I, I need some help, Rick. Can you control these these people, please? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, Caroline. Caroline is stuck at the at the uh, coronation. We've got, uh, what if you're dancing on the ceiling? The IT guy. Rick is it. Rick is it. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on. Um... Actually, let's zoom this out a bit. I want to jump into my downloads really quick. I don't even know where my downloads are right now. They're open someplace. There we go. And go ahead, bring this in. Okay. Like that. I need to embed this one. And I should save. Um, oh, Rick says, I missed you all. The day job's been keeping me busy. Ch -ch -ch. 
embed, embed, embed. Where is embed? Oh, object embed. I knew that. I knew that. Edit? All right, let's do it the old fashioned way. Come on. Are you certain? I cannot spell right now. What is wrong with me? Wait. All right, well, we're going to leave it now. <clears throat> Whoops. All right. So for those of you that are just showing up, like Rick, um, what we are working on today is some concept art. Spelling on stream is hard. Jack, that's why I copy and paste everything. <laughs> um, this is where we are right now. So we're doing some concept art, and I don't know where I'm going to be going along with this. But think of Green Lantern, and I need to actually put Green Lantern into here because this is absolutely a Green Lantern ripoff. So, and I, I actually should um, take a look and see if this has ever been done before from Green Lantern. Like, I know he's got it, comes down, and it's like, he'll have the hand catch himself. Um, something like that, you know, these light, the green light comes out and catches you. Um, so the, the concept of that, I don't know. Oh, Doris says, I can only listen today. Sorry, I am designing a truck as a tin can. Wow. Okay, that sounds cool. I want to see that, Doris. <clears throat> Hologram projector. That would be... A good one, actually. Because the funny thing is, if... if you actually break this down, the concept of it. There's only one part of it missing. Firefly has some product concepts. I'll drop them in the Discord. Thank you for that. Um, move that down, our calibration. Um, if, if you actually think about it, a lot of this stuff exists. Uh, look at HoloLens. Is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh. Oh, the mixed reality. Okay. Halo lens. Hollow lens. Halo lens. Now, the concept of what we've got going here, uh, for those of you that are just showing up, is actually creating, using lasers to create a safety device, PPE type um, uh, stuff, so that if you fall, uh, if you're a skier, climber, hiker, whatever, your sign hanger, whatever, and you fall from a height that a um, a laser platform stretcher something of that nature will actually catch you. Uh, it's a wearable. And coming back here, whoa, get back here, back into Illustrator. Um, it is like a 
air mattress made of light. Photo mesh, that was Vikram's, very good. Um, interdimensional rescue wearable. Laser woven as a net for the base. Safety wearable, wearables. An accelerometer uh, or uh, gyro for sensors. A personal bouncy castle. Sensor reading environment. Uh, a Green Lantern ripoff and hologram projector. So, the only thing that is really missing from this entire concept, because you could take a GoPro, and the way that the GoPros have, you can wear it on your chest, something of that nature, it's all there. It's all there. The only thing that's missing is the actual fact of lasers being able to hold weight so that's that is as of right now our downfall so hitting t for text downfall and spell it right Inspector Gadget. I used to love Inspector Gadget. Airbag system like the Mars landing. Yeah, yeah. Fun fact, this tech already exists. It's in the Pope's buffer jacket. <sighs> Rocket for levels. Just tried typing laser hologram of a flying mattress and got some interesting results. I, ooh, that's good, Lydia. Okay, I'll look in the Discord. So that's what Lydia got. Let's see here. Let's open that up. That's what Lydia got. Hmm. Looks like an underwater mattress. You know, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe we're going about this the wrong way. Um, no, no, no. Instead of a mattress, what if we use the term hammock? The two? Yeah. What if we used hammock? No, I mean, well, I mean, we're we're using this as inspiration. Holographic style inflatable air platform. I don't. We we need to stay out. Oops, drop mine in the. <laughs> um. We need to stay away from the term inflatable because what I'm getting here is too big. That's that's so let's get rid of the inflatable. It does look like spider webs EV, you're right. Well, that's not working for me. Um, blanket? Lydia says blanket.
air blanket. <laughs> Come on, Sean. Um, no. Fine carpet. I'm going to be stunned if one of these just like pops up and it's it's what I have in mind. Okay. We wait a minute. We're doing this wrong. God, I'm doing I am not thinking right. Okay. <sighs> Slow down everybody. Look at what we've been working on. We've been coming up with these concepts, okay? The concept of an air mattress made of light. All right, we know mattress is too big. Lasers woven as a net. Laser woven blanket. Holographic. Holographic style bed made of interlocking spheres. Ooh. Okay. I am, but let's let's do Stuart really quick. I feel like I'm doing prompt jockey all over again. Okay. Interlocking spheres. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Gareth, have a great day. What is this? The question I have right now for you, Stuart, are you testing these first before you give them to me? <laughs> okay. What did we have? We had a laser. No. Holographic. Holographic. Laser. Woven. Go with blanket. Let's try that. Reminds me of candy. Why, why, let me get back into here, L. Um, ooh, that's cool, Bruce. That's better than what I was getting. Okay. L says explore slime mold concept. I don't think that's the same. Oh, mm. I guess if we we're trying to tell someone, then it's word, then it's words like mesh, genetic. Or woven nodes. All right, that's just funky yell. Let's see here. Okay, it's a wo not a woven 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 laser beams mesh uh, platform 
form. I don't know. We're getting there. We look at this. That's the concept right there. It's small. That's the concept. Isn't a crash mat uh, just an old bed? <laughs> Making sure to tell it. Good job, Sensei. Good, good job, Sensei. Okay, let's see here. Gymnastics use them to fall on. Yo, that gave me, um, that's actually, okay, I, I like that idea, um, no, 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 I think you're right, Evie, you, uh, I don't want to use the word crash, though, um, go yoga mat, okay, Holographic woven laser beams mesh yoga mat. Um, they wouldn't do much to cushion your impact falling from cliff heights, though. But they're floating, Oliver. I mean, the whole concept is that it is supposed to slow you down, you know, and stay together, <laughs> not fall apart. But that's the concept. That's what you're hoping for. Um... I mean, the, the major thing that you're going for here is just strength. What are we on? Let's go, let's try widescreen. Because this might do it. Oh, Matt, that's what I, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, Oh my gosh, there it is. Um, Devlin, hello. Hello, hello, and no. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. Thinking this, this is close. That is close. Let's go ahead and download that. <clears throat> Let's do a show similar. Um, We're getting there. Okay, we're, what we're going to do, let me think. Oh my gosh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Um, jump over into Illustrator and... Laser woven. Okay. Hitting T for text. Let's come out here. And let's use the word Kevlar. That's what we're kind of going for there. All right. Hold on, everybody.
Okay, sorry about that, everybody. Um, the foam and the crash. Check out what I posted on the Discord. What did you post? I don't trust you. We're going big head mode here. That's absolutely 100% not what we're going for. That's how come we can't use the term bed or mattress or anything like that. None of these work. None of those work. Okay. Good effort, though, Vikram. Good effort. Let's see here. So we've got... Get back into Firefly. Um... Laser... Oh, let's go sheet. Let's try that. Devlin, I will bring up bring you up to speed really quick. Um This is this is a very strange stream. That's kind of getting there. Okay. We're going to do a quick recap. And I'm, I don't know where I'm going to go with this, but we, I need to continue getting this going. Um, <clears throat> the entire concept that I came up with here, and I'm not going to give you the full backstory, anybody new here, but this is the concept that we're going with, is we are creating a personal protective equipment that is a safety wearable, wearable safety device in which if you fall from any height, um, a cliff, something of that nature, not just fall on the floor, but any, if you are at height, that a um, series of laser beams will actually create a platform for you to fall on. The wearable device can be worn on the front or the back. Whoa, these are my sketches. Um, we have something like a GoPro style sensor that shoots the lasers out. Um, we've got now we've gone in a different direction and I need to see if we can get it back because we've made the platform in which you fall on more soft. So it's not going to work for the car. Um, initially, I had the concept that it could also be used for car tires fault going off of cliffs or for tank mode if you are going to be going um, over extremely rough terrain that's impassable so that's the initial concept a safety device to catch you using lasers if you fall from any height so with that we came up with some concepts um this is one of the firefly uh air mattress beds that we were kind of coming up with i really like the shape and also the cushion and the woven so using those type of concepts we went into um just as ideas air mattress made of light and uh photon mesh lasers woven as a net on the base safety wearable then we've got the sensors we've got the personal bouncy castle as a special feature um We've got sensors for reading the environment, which is around you. Uh, it is it is a Green Lantern ripoff and uses something like a hologram projector. Per projector. The downfall, of course, right now is that lasers don't hold weight. Everything else pretty much exists that we're coming up with. Um, we need to deal with calibration. So the location of the eye to the ground and the eye being the sensor. We've got the height of the person needs to be known. Location of the of the, the device on the person. Is it on your front, back, shoulder? Are you wearing it as your head? And probably the weight of the person with the equipment that they have on. That's where we're at. And so we're coming up with ideas I like what we've got going on so far, kind of a woven texture um, and then turning it into some type of hologram, holographic, um, um, holographic style. So I think we've got something like that. Maybe, I don't know, we need to look, but we may have something. 
uh, to start working with here, just to, to just to get going. Um, Devlin says thanks for the catch up. There are for real and practice practical devices for personal falls like that, but airbags. Yeah, that was the concept. Is um for they I don't know if they use them for rodeos, but for horseback riding, like in the Olympics, um, when they're doing the cross country riding, they have the vests that have that are like airbags, and so if you fall off, it's attached to the saddle and it deploys. Um and helps the riders not get hurt so much um they do crash helmets like that when you fall off a bike oh wow okay they they also have them for skiers because they deploy and in avalanches you will it'll actually help you rise out of the snow when you're falling in an avalanche so skiers use those too um gears hikers just invent a new one in disc or just invent jelly lasers. That's not bad. Not bad. Okay, I'm being told to look at Discord. Look at Discord, Sean. Look at Discord. Ooh. That does not look very wearable. But it's a good prototype. That's a good prototype, Bruce. That's not bad, but it's not like, okay, this is, this is the concept I have. That's the idea there, not the cushion, lose the cushion. So what if it falls with helium instead of falling, you float up in the sky. I don't even know how to respond to that one. <sighs> nope, 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 nope. But this is the closest one, Vikram. That. That's actually not bad. Um, laser hologram of jelly. Oh my goodness, people. I I am so happy that all of you are taking or are having so much fun with the, the horrific nightmares that I have had for decades. Um Yeah. Looks like my 18, my my old inflatable chair I got when I was 18. I remember those, Evie. I never had one. Special helicopter chases you down and re cheers you. <laughs> um, let's get into Illustrator. All right, let's close some of that down. We don't need Express. <clears throat> uh, Adobe Max coming to London. Okay. Now... I do not know what type of patterns AI hat or AI Illustrator has built in, um, but let's go ahead and get a view from the top. And I need to go, man Z. Let's make a new layer, making sure we're on that layer. I'm gonna grab that and. Actually, let's do this in the appearance panel. <clears throat> We're gonna go into our fill. Actually, let me think about this. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Uh, no, I don't want FX. I want a new fill. Come on, Sean. Okay, so need to look at our patterns what we've got let's check out our graphic patterns and see if we've got anything here go ahead and make this bigger so you all can see it gosh that's even tough for me to see um
actually not bad. Okay. tough to see right now so give me a second we're gonna just grab that grab a different background right there we're gonna right click on that we're gonna go arrange and we're gonna send to the back and that's a bad color Sean bad color no that's even worse Wow. We're going to stick with the gray. Let's jump into that layer. We're going to go ahead and lock that layer down. Let's zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> Got here a little early going. Enjoy seeing what I've missed lately. Have had fun conjuring up childhood nightmares on Firefly. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> let's cancel that. Hitting V, let's select that. Let's give this a stroke. And uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Let's go ahead and just grab a purple stroke for right now. Let's increase the size of that because we do need some type of order. Let's grab this again. I'm going to jump into our appearance panel. Let's check out our stroke. We want to make sure to put this on the outside of our of the stroke and we can go let's check out some gradients um gems and jewels let's see what we've got here glad you've got a fun distraction while you wait well i hope it's fun evie There we go. We are going to go ahead. We're going to add another fill. Now with that fill on top, again, let's go into our gradients. And I did like those gems and jewels. So we're going to grab this. PJ, how you doing? Actually, let's do this different. Let's put that one on top and let's go to our opacity. We're going to go norm. We're going to kick that over to multiply. What did I do wrong here? Wow, I really messed something up. Let's go back. Actually, what we could probably do is we grab another rectangle. Let me think this through really quick. No, let's not grab another rectangle. Let's grab that one. We're going to go... Command C, Command Shift F to place it in place. And where are you? Katarina, hello. How are you doing today? All right, we want to grab the bottom one. 
just hide the top one really quick. Go into our appearance panel and get rid of that fill. This fill, we're just gonna say, get back in, add another gradient and we can go, got stone and brick spectrums, spectrums. That's kind of cool. We're going to say no stroke on that. Let's turn back on our top one. Set that up there like that. Now let's grab both of these. I'm gonna go Command G into a group and go into Object. Let's see. This is not doing it for me. This is not doing it for me at all. I am not liking it. Not happy. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. What we are trying to achieve, and I was failing horribly, and I'm going to have to dive in and look at this, is creating this effect. Like what we've got up here. That is exactly what I want to do. And I'm trying to do a little bit off. Yeah, Bruce, it does look like Photoshop work. Um, it might be easier in Photoshop than in Illustrator, at least for me. Um, that's with the screen or color dodge in Photoshop. Yes, Evie. You are absolutely right. Use a bright color grid instead. Ooh, good idea, Lydia. I was thinking more like freeform gradient. But here's a here's another thing. Like if could you make it make a brush? Like this is this is what I'm thinking about doing. If you make a brush. You could use lines and then wave effect and inner outer glows. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm I'm thinking like this. This this is kind of what I'm thinking about. Let me see if I've got it right here. Um You know, taking this style of effect that I did for uh, Lydia's picture, doing something like that, and also going in and then liquefying just a little bit, um, distorting it just a little bit and creating the woven bed. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Doris's, 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 I'm sorry. Um, That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, I think that's where that what we're going to need to do. Okay. All right, let's jump back into Illustrator really quick. Um need to save this. I haven't saved at all. I haven't saved it at all. We don't have a new name yet, so platform uh, we're going to go with platform right now. And we're going to save this as a cloud document. Oh. Okay, there we go. Got a rescue PFD and we're fine there. Where's the save reminder on your gadget thing? 
It might need one. Might need one. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see here. I have been... I've been streaming for just over two hours. I think I'm about to call it a day. Um... Oh, wait, wait. Just as a reminder, everybody. Interest interesting stream, not the usual. No, Evie, I was, I was very nervous streaming about this today because um, I've never done anything like this. Uh, so I'm trying to use the knowledge that I have and I'm kind of lacking, lacking right now. By the way, just because I have not had a chance to do this yet. Hi, Bruce's mom. Hi, Bruce's mom. Okay. As a reminder, uh, for everybody in about two hours, I need to break down my setup or actually just mainly my computer and get stuff reset up for my next stream, which is happening in two hours. So if you're over here on Adobe Firefly Discord, you can come on over up into the events and I will be hosting the prompt jockey um, in about just over two hours. So if you're over there, come on over, give me your prompts. As of right now, I think I did all the ones for yesterday. So I've got a couple in my back pocket that we're going to be starting out with. Um, and then if the chat has any prompts, we're going to be doing that, which is kind of like what we did here today. <laughs> Not what I expected at all, but it was fun. Um, I want to thank you all for your ideas, for your help. This is going to... Um, I'm going to see if I can continue with this, what we can get going. Like I, in my mind, I'm thinking we, we, I could animate it. Um, we could try to try to get the concept down on paper to something that we like, and then possibly, um, animate it, maybe take it into after effects something of that nature so I don't know I'm nervous about this I'm, I'm nervous about this but okay lots of hologram bed prompts yep yep it's true all right thank you all for being here thank you for your help for your suggestions for your prompts or for your images that you put into the discord to help me out um i think it it actually really helped me out to get an idea of um just getting it more solid in my head of what i want to see how i want this platform to to look so i've got a concept i'm gonna keep playing with it so thursday we may continue on with this we may not i don't i don't i don't know what we're gonna do on thursday but i hope to be back uh, if not, I will post it in the Discord, and if so, I'll post it in the Discord. So, everybody, have a great day. Stay safe, stay creative, and just be nice. I'll see y'all in chat. Bye.